Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I have a collective haul to share with you. There's a lot of things here, um, mostly it's from Sephora and I just haven't had the chance to film a video so it's been like piling up. And then I received my last icon box uh, from Ipsy and I say last because I canceled my subscription so I won't be getting the icon box anymore and probably after this month um, I'm not going to be getting any boxes from Ipsy. I've just decided like I have way too much product to work on and not even like just to work on. I just speak in those terms because I make project pan videos sometimes but I mean like just in general a lot of product and I'm not even like wearing makeup every day so it just keeps piling up and piling up so I think I just don't I don't there's cat here I don't need that subscription anymore I've decided um what else yeah I think that's it so let's just get into it um I'll just tell you as we go, <laughs> there's a few things that went wrong with this box. So I'll show you the Ipsy things first. I did purchase some add-ons and they forgot one of them, uh, which was this, the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I've mentioned this before. I really prefer, well, it's not that I prefer, like I just like this one. I don't like the original um, Living Proof dry shampoo. I know it's a lot of people's favorites. It's like a Sephora bestseller. I just hate the smell of it. It's so strong. It smells like something you clean your wood furniture to me. <laughs> so I was super happy to see that they came in with a different one. I do already have a full size and a travel size of this, but I saw that it was in the add-ons and the full size one that I have is getting very low. So I figured let's just add it. And then they forgot to put it in my box. For the last like three months, they've forgotten something. <laughs> I will say they're really good about replacing your missing items. Like it's very quick and they don't ask any questions. They just ship you the replacements um, when they have them. So thankfully they had this still. So they did send this to me separately. Um, I also added some items from e.l.f. which I don't know, I was just excited to see e.l.f. products in the add-ons. I don't think it was really a deal because it's in um, American pricing. I'm in Canada, if you didn't know. So e.l.f. is pretty affordable. I mean, it used to be. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I haven't been to the drugstore lately, really. Um, but I did get the Glow Reviver Lip Oil in the shade Pink. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know anything about it, but I'm excited. And I then I received the, well, I added this to my order, the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in the shade Dusty Rosé. I actually have one of these already. I haven't <laughs> used it yet, um, but I added another one, I guess. And funny thing is, so they forgot two items, but my dry shampoo and one of the items that was supposed to be in like everyone's box. Um, but when they sent me this, they sent me four of these. <laughs> exactly the same shade in like its own box. So I think like they forgot to like take the things out. Like it was a box like e.l.f. would send to for like commercial selling. You know what I mean? I don't know. So um, I have two left because I gave one to my mom, one to a friend, and now this one's for me and I have an extra. I thought about selling it on Poshmark, but I feel like the shipping costs more than like what this would be valued at. So I don't know, maybe I'll figure out a bundle or something. I don't even know how that works, but whatever. So that happened. And then what was in the actual box? Again, this was the icon box, so it's one that you pay more for every quarter. And it's curated by a celebrity, which I don't really know 
if they have anything to do with it or if they just put their name on it. This one was actually Chrissy Teigen and John Legend, which was kind of cool. Um, but again, I don't really know what that means, celebrity curated. So I was supposed to get this, which I now do have because they had to send it to me with my missing dry shampoo because they forgot the Pat McGrath Labs bronzer and there was no way I was allowing them to forget this because this is like, well you guys know, Pat McGrath Labs is pretty expensive um, and I wanted to try the bronzer so I got this shade Bronze Dawn this might be the lightest shade from what I can tell. I actually don't really know a lot about this product, but it looks good. I'm hoping I like it. It has a pretty embossing and yeah, typical Pat McGrath Labs packaging. So I did get that eventually. And also in the box was the Janessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Flushed. I do have one of these also. This one is Rosé and Brunch. The one I have, I forget the name of it, but it's like a bright coral, almost like a red. And this one's more like a dusty pink kind of rosy tone. So that's fun to have another one of these because I do really like this formula. Sorry for the lighting, by the way. It was really sunny. <laughs> Just before, um, we actually went out to a cafe to sit on the terrace and it started downpouring and now it's like black outside so not good because I'm also trying to film a foundation video which you'll see. Anyway, let's get back to this. So I did get the Huda Beauty Glowish Multi Dew Skin Tint. I took it out of the box already. Um, I got the shade 03 Light, which I think will be a good match. Um, I didn't get this when it first came out because I didn't really see good reviews on it. Most people, I think they said like it just doesn't do anything, like you can barely see it on the skin. So we'll see. I do like skin tints normally, so I, I might like it still. I don't know. So that's something to try. But I also got another skin tint. Okay, I might have, I might be mixing up the Icon box and my previous boxy charm from July. I think that's what happened. And <laughs> so this is just the makeup part. I did get other skincare, but I think I put it away. I think that's what happened. That makes more sense because I got another skin tint. This is the Tula Skincare Radiant Skin. Brightening Serum Skin Tint Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. <laughs> that is a lot of information. Um, I got the shade 07 Light Neutral Warm. So I'm hoping it's good. And ooh, it only expires in 2026. So I have some time to actually use this before the SPF expires. I don't know anything about this. I wonder if we even have this product in Canada because of it has SPF in it um, and it's yeah made in the USA I don't know I don't know anything about this but I'm excited about it I like having SPF in my makeup um, just as an added SPF I do wear SPF 50 on most days anyway but it's always good to have I think so yeah I'll have to try this I haven't been like super impressed with other, like the skincare from Tula. I just feel like it's pretty expensive for what it is, but this could be good. I don't know. Um, this is the Dr. B Lab Hydrating Serum to Highlighter. Another product from, yeah, so it's official. This stuff is a mixture of my BoxyCharm and my last Icon Box because this is something they forgot also <laughs> in the boxy charm. They sent it to me after the fact. Um, but this is, it says ashwagandha extract and camellia seed extract serum to highlighter. I think I am going to use this as a primer because I don't, 
I wouldn't wear highlighter, like a skincare, because there's probably like mica in it or something to make it highlighty. But it does say conscience, consciously science based vegan formula, dermatologist tested. Okay, I don't know anything about this brand, but it looks like this. It does look like a skincare product. Oh, and it's like a one of these. Let's just see the consistency. Oh, okay, it's like a lotion texture, if you can even see that. Oh, okay, I might like this. It does have a scent, but it's not too bad. It smells kind of citrus fruity, I don't know. It says, after your moisturizer, apply AM a dime size amount and spread evenly. Apply makeup as usual or wear alone. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use this as a primer, which is probably why I kept it in here instead of with my skincare. Um, I also got a UHD brow sculpt from Live. I think it's how you say this brand. This is the Brow Shaping Wax with Sculpting Brush. I do have some other brow waxes. Yeah, this is just a clear, like the Anastasia, um, what is it called? Brow Freeze? It looks pretty much exactly like that. So I do really like that one, if I remember correctly. And this one comes with its own little tool, so that's fun. So another brow wax to try. See, this is why, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna renew my subscription because I just have so many products <laughs> and some of them are in the same thing and I just haven't had a chance to get to them, so. Um, I did get this also, the Il Maquillage Color Boss Master Palette, eight multi-dimensional eye colors. That's the packaging. It's called um, Treat Yourself. Okay, um, it's heavy. It looks like this. That clear packaging that gets filthy. Ooh. These are the shades, nothing like out of the ordinary, um, but it, they look kind of fun. They look like I might really like this actually, so something to try out. I just feel like I definitely have this color story already, but not from Il Maquillage. I do have another palette from Il Maquillage, a quad, and it's still in my new makeup drawer, so I, I don't know. <laughs> anything but the formula um but yeah that was everything from ipsy boxy charm whatever it's called so i'm going to put that stuff away there were some good things like i'm excited about the pat mcgrath bronzer um i just i don't know just annoyed with them in general i mean it's probably not them as a company it's more like their warehouse i think that they just i don't know they're not packing properly based on what you ordered because it's been like three times in a row and other times before that so every every month i have to check and like compare with the app to make sure like everything's even in the box and i know like there's variety like you might not get exactly but you're supposed to get the same number of products so yeah who knows how many times i just didn't even check and i missed something <laughs> i did forget this though oh this is also from that live company this is a um well the brush set doesn't have a special name i just saw it says on the back toronto ontario so that's fun maybe it's a canadian company these do look nice i have to say let's open this they feel nice. They feel like professional. It has like a nice matte black kind of finish. Hopefully not the kind that, you know, gets all yucky like the old NARS packaging. 
but yeah these feel pretty nice what's this for flawless concealer brush hmm. okay this could be good i do really like this shape of a brush um and this looks fun i'm assuming this is a highlighter yeah glow highlighter brush it's almost like a combination of a fan brush with like a regular brush i actually don't have anything like that so this could be good i will put that in my brush cup i should probably do another brush declutter though um okay now on to the sephora things um i'm not even sure if these are still available anymore but i did get two sephora favorites kits um, the It's Giving Lip Lip Sampler. This one. Let's see. I haven't even opened this. Oh, you have to. This is terrible. I've had this stuff, some of this stuff for like literal months. And it's still in the bag. And I haven't looked at it. Like I just haven't had the chance. Um, can you hear that? That's the rain. Oh my god. <laughs> the trees are blowing crazy. Okay, I hope it don't like lose power. Let's let's see. So yeah, it's giving lip. I just thought this looked like a fun variety of things. Um and I I do okay, I had one of the things already, which was this makeup forever artist color pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. My camera is like way too high. Um, yeah, I had this already actually from a previous Sephora favorites kit. So I gave it to my mom and I kept this one. Um, but I know that's like everybody's favorite lip liner. It just goes with everything. And those like, um, what are they called? Artist color pencils. You can wear them um, as eyeliner also or anywhere on the face really. Um, then I, it came with this Kosas Daydream. This is a mini. I mean, should I zoom in? I feel like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't filmed makeup videos lately. Okay, this is like a terracotta kind of shade. There's a fluff on it. I hope that's from me. Ooh, that felt nice going on the hand at least. Maybe it's more pink than what it looks like here. But that could be fun. It smells good. Um, I've been... What's the word? I've been burned by Kosa's lip products in the past that have been already expired before I even opened them. Like brand new from the store, not that they were in my collection for years. Um, so I don't really trust Kosas lip products, but this came in the set and it it smells nice and it felt good, so I think it's okay. <laughs> then this, this Clarins um, comf Lip Comfort Oil. I've been wanting to try these for like actual years and I just never, I don't know why I never actually went for it, but now I have one. Ooh, that smells amazing um i don't really know it just says zero three so this is not a full size of course um it's the lip oil and zero three cherry yeah it smells like cherry pretty sure so maybe yeah i think they all like all the shades have their own scent and it is a lip oil so i don't think it's gonna go on this deep yeah it's, well, that's pretty good color payoff for a lip oil. Um, yeah, that's exciting. Finally have one of those. And I also got a Maracuya Juicy Lip Plump. So this is one that I don't think I've had before. I could be wrong. There's so many of these now. I think they have a lip oil one and then like their regular one so i don't even know anymore but this is in the shade rosy mauve shimmer glass okay 
This is one that you click to get the product out. Oh. Oh, it smells like coconut. That looks really pretty actually. And it's not too shimmery, like where it's gonna look metallic. I do not like that normally. So I'm excited to try this. I didn't know that was the shade that came in here. Did I? Or do I have two? No. <laughs> um, yeah, it says Rosy Mauve Shimmer Glass. Okay, for some reason I thought this was like something I may, might have had already, but it's not, so that's fun. And then I got the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Pink Sugar. I think I have one of these. I could be wrong. I need to film so many videos, including my inventory, because I don't even remember what I have. That is very sheer, it looks like that. I want to say I don't remember if I loved this, so I hope I'm wrong because now I have another one. <laughs> uh, the other one I have might be a small size, if that's even what it is, if I remember correctly. Everything here smells amazing. Um, but yeah, so that was just a lip set that I thought looked fun. Is it worth it? I mean, it was $57, <laughs> so... I uh, don't know. Uh, it says it was the value of 116 Which seems crazy because there's only three full-size products in here. I guess that's just how much we pay for makeup now, but I thought it was a nice variety of things and enough things that I haven't already tried, so I picked that one up. So that was one kit, but I also got this one. Blush and Glow. This one I was very excited about because I love blush. As I think you'll see in this haul, it's going to be like mostly blush <laughs> if I remember correctly. See, this one was 88 Value of 181 And there's four full-size products in here. And one of them is a beauty blender. So, I don't know. Let's open this. I do like that they're doing these in, like, these are actually com compostable bags. Um, they used to do all their favorite sets like this in, like, makeup bags. And I have so many makeup bags, so I just can't open this. <laughs> I didn't rip it right. Okay, I got it. Ooh, the first thing on top. I'm very excited about. This is the Well It's Makeup by Mario for sure. Um, soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in Perfect Pink. And I do have one of these already. I think it's called Peach. Peachy? I don't know. Ooh, this looks really pretty. I don't feel like I have a blush that looks like this. It's almost like I don't even know how to describe this. I feel like I would call this like a Barbie pink. It's not that that like pink that's like very viral or it was at least like last year. Um, it's more like a deeper pink. I don't know. I kind of like that a lot. Um, if I remember correctly, I do like this formula also. So I'm happy to have a second one and it's completely different in tone from the one I already have. Uh, this is the only product in here that I have already. Well, aside from the, be from the beauty blender, the Iconic London Prep Set Glow, but this is actually one of my favorite setting sprays. I am wearing it today, but it's not a good makeup day because um, I got rained on, like on my face, and I'm wearing a new foundation. Actually, I'll just I'll tell you about it in a few minutes. I do like it, I think, but this lighting is not helping me at all because it's like black outside, so I have all my fake lights on and they're all different <laughs> like colors of white. So yeah, not looking great on camera today, but whatever. 
um, but I do really like this and this is travel size so the one I have already is the full size so I can take this one traveling um, yeah so not mad about that um, this product I've never tried this before this is from Merit and this is called the day glow highlighting balm in bounce so this is not actually a blush it is a glow is a highlighter looks like that oh it feels very nice can you see anything not really um it, it's kind of like a rose gold i want to say i hope that it's not too deep on my skin tone it looks pretty deep in the like the product itself but as a swatch it didn't come off so dark but that's what that is i do like how it feels like it feels like it would blend nicely it's not like too thick like some um cream highlighters seem to be so yeah um there is a beauty blender in here i do have a beauty blender already but i haven't used it yet and i've never used a beauty blender before now i have two but i mean these are like 28 dollars canadian or they used to be i don't know they're probably like a thousand dollars now <laughs> so um just gonna keep this with my extra sponges Okay, this. This is from Glossier and I've never tried Glossier before because they used to not ship to Quebec um, and now they're at Sephora Canada so I can finally get them. But it was very like um, underwhelming when they came to Sephora Canada I feel. Like I wasn't like as excited as I thought I would be. I guess I'm just not a glossy person i don't know i don't know what it is but um there's this this is a cloud paint and i have heard really good things about these this is the shade puff and it's a seamless cheek color it looks pretty oh it has a it has a thing that you have to peel Ooh. so far feels like the Maybelline Cheek Heat in texture, but I do like that shade. It's a nice peachy tone and it looks like nicely pigmented. Um, the thing about the Maybelline ones is I feel like I have to put so much of it on. Um, this one looks like I got a lot more color just from that tiny swatch. That, so that could be promising so that's fun and that is a full size so is the Merit by the way and the Makeup Amaria of course um, then there's this little Basma cream blush and I do have one of these already but not in this shade this one is in Fuchsia I do like this packaging it's very cute see if I can open this <laughs> I think the full size one don't you like slide it out but this one yeah you gotta open it oh my god it's so <laughs> it's so small um but that looks really fun as a color um, oh yeah this is the one like it feels like a lip balm almost I don't think I've tried the other one um, but I do think that's a really fun shade, so I'm happy to have this one. It's cute. And then the last product, also mini. This is a Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in Joy. And I'm pretty sure I don't have this. I'm not sure now. Now that I said the name, it sounds familiar. But I'm sure you guys know the Rare Beauty blush. Um, they're extremely pigmented. You have to put like a tiny speck on unless you want extremely blushed face. Um, but I do like, I do like them. Like they stay on if I remember. So yeah, I do have to check if that's the shade. No, I think the shade I have is Love. 
It's like the terracotta one. I don't know, I guess we'll find out <laughs> whenever I get around to putting this stuff away. So that was everything in the Blush and Glow bag. And that one, like I said, $88 Canadian, $181 value. Yeah, I don't know. I just like the Sephora favorites kits, usually. Um, okay, then I got this and I need to like start using this now. This is a body wash from Necessaire, or Necessaire, I don't know if it's meant to be pronounced in French, um, but yeah, it's from California, so probably not. But this is an Epsom salt therapeutic cleanse, and I specifically got this one because I was having like eczema issues. I still am right now. I don't know if you can see on camera, but like right here, I have some on my feet, which I it's not fun at all. And I thought because this had Epsom salt in it, it might help me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it says 5% Epsom salt therapeutic cleanse. This body, no, the body wash is a mineral, mineral in gel therapeutic cleanse for the skin. Apply all over the body, massage for rich foam, rinse well. And there is a scent, it's Santal. And I do believe I like Santal. Oh, this is like, okay. I think you're meant to... Oh, that does smell good. Um, it has this kind of packaging. So I think when I'm using it, yeah, you just twist it once and then you pour it out. I do like that. Um, yeah, that's promising. So it says it has 5% Epsom salt, magnesium, silica, selenium, zinc, and niacinamide. Okay, I'm gonna start using this because right now I'm trying to use up. I don't have any like just plain shower gels. I only have like exfoliants. And so I've been trying to use up soap bars, but I don't love using, up, using soap bars in the shower. I don't know, I just feel like you have to be so <laughs> careful. Like, I don't know, it's too slippery. Anyway, that's my issue. So, okay, this thing, this Patrick Ta Major Skin Hydrolux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. This is the foundation I'm wearing today. Uh, I think you'll see the video before this, so it won't be a spoiler or anything. Um, but yeah, I am liking it so far. I haven't had the chance to like look up close but like I said, I just got home from being rained on, so it's probably probably not looking the best anyway. But my first impression was that it, it looked pretty good. I like that it's um, a hydrating foundation. For some reason, I thought Patrick Ta would come out with like a super, I don't know, foundation-y foundation. But no, so that's good. It's a luminous finish and yeah it feels nice on the skin I was feeling like it was on the verge of doing that thing where it it kind of like seeps down into your pores um even though it says it's meant to blur so yeah I'll check back later for that video and you'll have already seen that anyway my final thoughts but I did get that in the shade uh, six neutral by the way, and I think this shade match was perfect um, Then I got the Fenty Cheeks suede powder blush in what a brat um, This is like the newest product I think in this haul I just got this recently Because I swatched it in store and it felt really nice and that makes sense because it's called a suede powder blush. The packaging is really fun too. Looks like that. Um, and I liked the shade. It looked different enough. It's um, kind of like a purpley pink, 
with shimmer and it, but when you touch this it's like it really is like a suede that's what that shade is okay now that i'm looking at it it is quite similar <laughs> to some other things we just saw but this one does have shimmer so and maybe it's more pink than it is purple but yeah i'm excited about this um, there's no like mirror or anything. It just says Fenty inside, which is weird. It looks like there was supposed to be a mirror there. So, because there's like a, a gap, but I guess it's just like that. So I will hopefully get to try this out soon. I had to open the window. I hope it's not going to be horribly loud in the background. Um, but let's move on. Oh, this is not very exciting, but <laughs> I did get the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover with Corn Flower Extract. This is not the full size, I think, but it's also not the travel size. It's like a middle. And this is the makeup remover I keep in my travel bag, and I finished my little mini one. So I thought I would just refill that one with this. And I really like this. I feel like it works really well. I did get this originally um, because I was using a mascara. I don't even remember what it was now. That was so hard to remove that I was like, I'll, I'll just use this like while I'm using that mascara. But I'm not even using that mascara anymore and I haven't even opened this yet. So <laughs> I'll just use it in my travel bag. Another Tarte Maracuya Lip. This is the one I was getting confused with this one. So this is the Lip Plump. But then they came out with the Plumping Lip Oil. And this one has a sponge tip. And this is the shade Rose. Rose, just Rose, not Rose. Yeah, so that one looks like that. I think I swatched this already. Yeah. It's very sheer. But I just wanted to try a different formula of these um, because I do like these lip plumps and now I have like every kind so <laughs> yeah and I think this is the shade rose that I have already but in the other formula like the original formula I think that's what I was getting confused with anyway that's what I picked up um, this Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzing and Shaping Serum in the shade Fair. Okay, I have not even opened this yet. I did try this only because they applied it on me in the store because this is not the shade I originally wanted. This is the lightest shade. I wanted the one up from this and it was out of stock, but the... I don't know what they call them, cast member, is that still what they are, that work at Sephora. Um, he was like, no, I think this shade will work good on you anyway. And he applied it on my face and I was like, okay, yeah, I do like that. So I already know how the shade is. I just haven't been using this. Um, this is the one where you have a applicator, like a doe foot applicator, so you could swipe it on like a contour more or it has a pump that you can apply like with a sponge or however you want to apply it so yeah need to like revisit this maybe I should do like a makeup by Mario like a full face video if anybody wants to see that because I have like a lot of products from Makeup by Mario that I need to re-familiarize myself with. I think this is where it's just going to be a lot of blush from now on. <laughs> so I got this Huda Beauty Blush Filter um, in the shade Watermelon Pop. This is how bad. I don't even remember what this is. Oh, that looks fun. So it looks like this. And it is, yeah, it's a doe foot applicator. Ooh, it smells pretty like fruity or something. Um, yeah, what is, yeah, I don't know. 
watermelon <laughs> watermelon pop blush filter liquid blush it looks kind of like it's a stain like it has that kind of formula it looks very pigmented Ooh, okay that's how that's the shade of that I need to try this and see what it looks like on the face I was thinking like a watermelon pop would not be this kind of deep almost like does that not look more like a burnt orange to you I don't know we'll see about that I just thought it was intriguing not that I've heard anything about it so <laughs> I don't know I just get very excited about new blushes um this one is from Kosas this is the is it called Blushes Life? That's what it says here. Baked Dimensional Brightening Blush in the shade Butterflies, which is cool baby pink. This is a nice packaging. Are these, these aren't new, are they? I feel like I don't know what's going on in the makeup world anymore as much as I used to, because I've been really focused on my crafts it is coming up to be craft fair season if you guys didn't know i have another channel for my crafts it's made by carly rose if you're interested in that kind of thing but i haven't been watching as much beauty youtube as i used to so i'm kind of out of the loop i don't i felt like i had to smell that but that's that kind of pink like this is what i meant with like the trendy like baby pink it's probably the best way to describe it um but that looks fun it feels nice it looks has a nice pigment to it and there's not like glitter in it or anything um even though it was what did it have like it looks like it's quite sheeny in the pan but i want to say i think people like this but i don't know I'll have to try it myself and see. And is this another blush? No. This is a Gloss Bomb Sticks High Shine Gloss Stick from Fenty in the shade High Biscuits. Like high. <laughs> high Biscuits. Ooh, that looks fun. Oh my god, yeah. It has that same like um, hubba bubba smell. Is that what it was called? That um, bubble gum that was in the tape. You guys, if you're my age, probably know what I'm talking about. That's exactly what it smells like. Like the gloss bomb lip gloss. So this I'm assuming is, I mean, it's called a gloss bomb stick. Ooh, it does feel glossy. I do like the shade of that. Hence why I got this one. So, yeah, I haven't tried I don't know anything about that, but it looks promising. <laughs> um, another Fenty product. This is the Hot Cheeks Velour Blush Lighter in Baked Peach. Oh. That is fun. Look at that. It's like, um... What's it called? Like, therma, thermal... <laughs> that thing where you see heat but oh oh I lost the uh, plastic is this coming out okay it looked like it was not in the pan but look at that that looks pretty okay yeah that feels drier than the suede one but this is meant to be like a different type of product I guess that is very glowy um, I like the color it's peach but it's not like a, a light peach, which I think is why I probably got this one because I have a lot of things that are peach, so unless they're like different enough, I won't pick them up. But this one, yeah, this would have been nice to wear in the summer. I mean, it's still summer when I'm filming this, but it's actually September 1st today, <laughs> so I feel like it's fall now. Um, but yeah. 
that would have been fun for a summer, like a summer night look. Not that I go anywhere, but yeah. Oh, this I've had for a while. This Gisu or Gisu, I don't know how to pronounce it. Honey infused lip oil and watermelon sugar. I tried to buy this during the last BIB sale, but it was sold out everywhere. And then I still wanted it after, even though it wasn't on sale anymore. So, sorry, my battery died and my memory card ran out. Um, I was saying about this Jisoo or whatever, however you say it, the honey infused lip oil. So I still wanted it even after the sale and I decided I'll just get it because it might go out of stock again. So now I have this and I do actually have the original one and I remember liking it. But I just thought this color looked really fun. It's like a, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be extremely sheer and you won't be able to tell but it looks kind of pink in the tube and it has its shimmer in it so that's it there yeah oh i touched it with my nose it is um yeah very sheer and it doesn't smell like amazing like you'd think watermelon sugar it would smell like watermelon and there is like a hint of watermelon, but it's something else. Maybe it's a watermelon mixed with honey that smells weird to me. I don't know. I just had to have this. I, I don't really know how else to explain myself. Um, another blush, and after this, there's only one more <laughs> product. And this stuff has been in here so long that there's dust on it. This is the House Labs. Um, Color Fuse Glassy Blush Balm in the shade Pomelo and just another cream blush. What can I say? This one is in a tube. That's the packaging. I, I guess this is old news by now, by now. It looks like this. Let's see. I believe so when I tried Makeup by Mario sculpting thing. I was buying this. So he put this on with the Makeup by Mario and it looked really nice. So I'm sure I'm gonna I'm sure I'm gonna like this. It is like another peachy <laughs> blush. It's more like a peachy pink though. So yeah, I just like these kind of shades. I like all shades of blush if you haven't noticed, like I'll try anything, like purple, terracotta, brown. I don't think there's any blush that I don't really like. Maybe like those mauve -y ones. I don't know. I just have a lot of options, obviously. Okay, the last thing here, probably the most bougie. I got the Gucci bronzing powder, only because I'm pretty sure this was 50% off during some kind of Sephora sale and this has been in my loves list like since it launched. I have heard really good things about it so I finally was like okay just get it now it's probably probably the best price that you'll get. It does come in its own little dust bag which is very funny um, and this is the packaging. This is nothing new but it looks really nice. So I'm hoping the color is a good match. And there is a brush under here. I just don't remember how to get it out. But there's like a little thing that you're meant to, to open, but I don't see how you're supposed to get your nail under it. Anyway, there. So will I ever use this? Maybe if I travel. I actually don't think I would ever travel with this, <laughs> just in case it breaks. Um, but yeah, I finally got this Gucci blush. So that's it. That's my story. And this is the shade 03. Yeah, I think this is not the one that's meant to be like the light one, but the light one looked too light. So that's why I got this one. And yeah, that is everything for my haul. So I know there was a lot. This was, again, several months of just 
collecting <laughs> things and not putting them away because I haven't had time. Um, but now, I mean, I haven't, the only thing I've used so far that I have shown you today, I mean, other than the dry shampoo, which is kind of a repurchase, um, is this, the Patrick Ta Foundation. So everything else will probably be jammed into my new makeup drawer if I can fit it in there. And yeah, um, so I hope you liked this video, even though the lighting was horrible and it's probably really loud in the background. Um, if you did, give it a like. If you want me to try any of these things um, on a video, if you want like an update on anything, just let me know. And yeah, um, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.